Hello there, this is my strategy guide. Uh, thanks to Morris that I found. Um, it's in the com room. You're going to want at least the Wonder Waff and the Perk Juggernaut. As you can see, I'm on level 22. No. There's a circle here, which I'm going to show you, which the zombies just follow you around. Now, if you run around where I am, um, you lost for a very long time, especially with Juggernaut. Now, every round, it's going to take two Wonder Waff bullets, and there's four remaining zombies after that before you kill someone. Twenty four zombies every round after a certain point. This is a uh, this strategy is thanks to oh 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 mouse oh 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 to but I've enhanced it a bit, just perfected it. Should only be four left now. And there is. Now you're just going to want to run in circles until you think you've got all the zombies going after you, so that no zombies are, so that the zombies are no longer jumping over fences, coming through the swamp, that type of thing. Just want to run around. This. It's about improvisation, really. This strategy. Every time you see a zombie, you're going to have to go another way. There might be zombies in front of you. So. Uh, This is the jump that you want to do. You want to jump. You want to jump over here because that's a really shallow area, and it won't slow you down. And there's only four zombies left. I'll just see if this is dogs. As you can see, it is all about improvisation, really. Weaving in and out of zombies. Maybe jumping a bit early there. Trying not to get caught out, really. You don't want to go too fast because zombies will break off and end up going the other way and you'll be trapped. maybe dogs now. Um, I like to start around here. 
just in case it is dogs. And it is. Now this is what I do for dogs. I camp out here. Because um, the dogs mostly don't like to go in the water. So you've got... They do occasionally go in the water, but look, you've got a gap. You've got a gap in time between every zombie. Here comes one, and he has come through the water. The zombies, do dogs don't seem to generate anywhere near as much health as the game goes on as the actual zombies. It still only takes about two magnum bullets to kill a zombie, to kill a dog. When I saw Morris do this strategy, I saw him. Uh, I heard him say, "You want at least a ray gun." Now, about around about this point, ray gun's going to take three or four shots to kill. Um, I'd prefer to have a wonder waff, just simply because it is actually much quicker to kill the zombies. Two wonder waff bullets in the road. Basically, now as you can see, there I had to improvise and use a wonder off bullet there. Didn't particularly want to because they come, they're, they're not very frequent max ammos and uh, you don't get many wonder off bullets so I didn't want to have to use it there but I had to may I, I may use a wonder off bullet here I think I'll be alright. Oh no, maybe. I'll try and use a window off for it. This could last forever, really. Until you run out of uh, ammo. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Wonder what. But anyway, my video recorder is running out of ammo. It's running out of uh, battery here. So I'm going to have to switch this off. I'll switch it off maybe after this round. Show you one more round of my magic. Okay, thank you for watching um, my strategy. Please subscribe.